السلام عليكم. Today is the third lecture in antiaortic balloon counter pulsations about frequency and timing. In this lecture, I just explain the uh, curves and we, should, we, we form analysis, uh, the normal and abnormal. I will not mention uh, its effect on hemodynamics and how to solve this issue. We will explain these things in later lecture. This is a picture of console. Uh, this is uh, for the second part is a uh, frequency which one to one one to two one to three deflation and inflation of the balloon which referred to each cardiac cycle where the balloon deflate or inflate a proper assessment of timing which is showing using arterial waveform one to one frequency uh, mean that each beat is assessed by the balloon uh, for each beat uh, it's used when we start uh, the balloon uh, and the heart rate less than 100. 1 to 2 means that the first beat is uh, assisted by uh, the balloon, the second beat is not assisted by the balloon. Uh, so we have one assisted, one not assisted, one assisted, one not assisted uh, for 1 to 2. Uh, the second thing is um, we used it as a weaning. Uh, weaning uh, weaning uh, parameter for uh, for the balloon or uh, during interpretation for the waveform and the third thing when the patient is tachycardic and heart rate more than 100. 1 to 3 in the aortic balloon frequency mean that uh, every three beats we have only one assisted so this is assisted beat uh, not as this is not assisted this is not assisted the second beat is assisted beat and this will be continue like that. Every two beats, uh, we have one assisted beat. And this is one of the weaning parameters for uh, interaortic balloon pump. We need to go, to go for quick revision of arterial load pressure waveform uh, before starting the timing for uh, inflation and deflation of the balloon. If we see, this is uh, uh, one cardiac cycle. And the one, the cardiac cycle, uh, composed of two parts, systole and diastole. For the systolic part, we will find that this is uh, the upstroke, the opening of aortic valve, and the, here the carotid node, which is the closure of aortic valve, and this is the diastole. Uh, all of this area under the curve is the mean arterial blood pressure, and this is an important part for uh, to be reminded and uh, uh, concentrated it to to be reminded during a uh, waveform interpretation. As we mentioned before, the inflation should be during diastole, and the diastole represented in the arterial pressure waveform by the diacrotic notch. If we take the diacrotic notch at the baseline, so the inflation of the balloon should be immediately or just parallel to the diacrotic notch. And here there is a just parallel to the diacrotic notch, Inflation will be uh, the, like V, nice V uh, inflation, and the augmented diastole or, uh, is more than uh, uh, systolic uh, pressure. So the augmented diastole, diastolic pressure, so sub is suprasystolic. And this is the proper inflation. So the proper inflation, two point. First point, just pair two the uh, parallel to the diacrotic notch, then the, the augmented diastolic pressure is more than uh, or supra systolic, more than systolic pressure. It's higher than systolic pressure. Deflation of the balloon is related to end diastolic, uh, end diastolic pressure of the aorta and the systolic pressure. So if we come for the deflation, we should see that the end diastolic pressure is lower than the assisted end diastolic pressure is lower than uh, the end diastolic pressure which is not assisted. Then the systolic pressure, assisted systolic pressure should be lower than the non -assi unassisted systolic pressure. This is two point important for the deflation of the balloon. The balloon uh, uh, systolic Pressures we should have uh, we have three peaks. First, unassisted systole, 
this is diastolic augmentation assisted systole for assisted unassisted systole it should be more than assisted systole uh, and for diastolic augmentation or assisted diastole it should be more than the systolic pressure and if we come for the inflation time here we will find that this line here is for uh, the the baseline for the critic notch is the baseline and we will find the inflation of the balloon just parallel to the diacrotic notch so uh, for uh, this is a, a, a normal curve and uh, optimal uh, inflation the unassisted systole is low higher than assisted systole and the diastolic augmentation is more than uh, the normal systolic pressure and we will find the inflation of the balloon just parallel to the diacrotic notch. The diastolic pressures. Here is uh, uh, three beats as we mentioned before. The diastolic unassisted and diastolic pressure. And here is assisted and diastolic pressure. The assisted and diastolic pressure is lower than unassisted and diastolic pressure. So for the systole and diastole, which are assisted, they should be lower than unassisted. Uh, for to and also the assisted here should be has nice V. So the rule is we have nice V in inflation and nice V for valley V for valley for a for deflate. Then we will come for how to interpret the. Uh, Interiotic balloon pump. For interiotic balloon pump interpretation, we should have first make the frequency one to two. We can print the strap on uh, ECG paper, and we should have three tops: one, two, three, and three downs: one, two, three, three downs to interpret it. This is a, a, a strap. As we see, this is normal without augmentation. This is one to two, and the, uh, one, two, three tops, and one, two, three downs. All of these should be available in the strap. For inflation, the most important part is diacrotic notch. And based on diacrotic notch, we will decide early or late inflation. Regarding deflation, the early deflation we will find that assisted systolic pressure will be not less than unassisted systolic pressure and for late deflation the assisted diastolic pressure will not be uh, less than unassisted diastolic pressure early inflation for this wave is a normal wave where the inflation is here uh, this is the diacrotic notch and this is the green line which is representing the baseline of the critic notch and here the inflation of the balloon just parallel to uh, uh, immediately to uh, the critic notch uh, early inflation the balloon is inflated early uh, uh, more above more above the baseline here so this is mean early inflation for proper inflation we should should see v shape it's also seen here V shape, but the V shape is uh, very small, and the inflation of the uh, of the balloon uh, is higher. The base of the V is too much higher than the baseline. Again, to revise uh, proper uh, inflation, we should have two points. The first point is a nice V for a valley. And the second point, uh, it should just impair to diacrotic notch, just parallel to diacrotic notch. And uh, uh, for here, this is the site of inflation of the balloon. We will not find it uh, it's, uh, just uh, just uh, above the uh, the line, but the shape of the the curve is U shape. It's not V shaped. So that's mean it's um, 
the late inflation and it, it's u shape late inflation means it's after the crotic nooch so there is no nice v so it will be a late inflation for a deflation it, the, the balloon is deflated in the systole so the, the troubleshooting will be in systole and in diastolic pressure for uh first one is uh, if we have this is as we mentioned before this is assisted systole this is unassisted systole so the assisted systole should, should should be lower than unassisted systole but if we come here we find both of them equal so that's mean this is early deflation early deflation this is the normal wave so the assisted and diastolic pressure is lower than assisted in the stolic pressure. This is the normal or proper deflation of the balloon. But if we come here, we will see that assisted in the stolic pressure is higher than as unassisted in the stolic pressure. So this is a late deflation. And for this very simple, the deflation, late deflation is in the stolic pressure. If the assisted is uh, the, is assist assisted should be lower than unassisted. If this doesn't happen, so that means late deflation. Let's exercise the uh, interaortic balloon pump interpretation. For uh, inflation, it is a nice V. So it's nice V, but from the baseline, it's higher from the baseline. So it's mean that um, nice V and higher from the baseline. So it's early inflation when it's come to the systole we will find that this is unassisted systole and this is assisted systole both of them at the same level so it's early deflation so this is a combination of early inflation and early deflation we can combine both of them early inflation or early deflation this is the reference of this lecture. I did mention uh, the solution for early deflation, late deflation. Uh, it's not uh, it's beyond the scope of this lecture. Inshallah, you will mention in the next. I did mention also the effect uh, of uh, of early deflation on deflation. It will be in the next lecture. Thank you, and you can put your uh, uh, questions and comment in the comment down.